Hello everyone. Uh, now I'm going to tie a couple of emergers, uh, egg laying calices and uh, uh, flies that are partly partly submerged in water. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm using some new hooks and I just wanted to try those and see how they work because I bought quite a few just because I like this brand and uh, actually it's quite amazing shape if you ask me. So it's the Emco uh, 108 BL spear point, as you can see. Like the point is shaped like a spear, and I like it. It's quite sharp, and that's the reason why I just bought these hooks and just to test them and see how they work. So so far, I never tried this this particular model of the hook spear point. I I tried it. And it's amazing. Uh, so let's start tying and uh, just to give you a glimpse of what, what I'm going to tie is like different kind of bodies we will discuss them later I will explain how I tie it and I will tell you how I use like very super cheap super glue to varnish my body uh, bodies of my flies and uh, it's very durable it's maybe even more durable than any UV resin that I've tried so let's start tying uh, for the body material I'm using Hans body quill and this one is number 22 and I'm just starting it off here like just near the band because everything after the band is going to be submerged so I'm using this reddish one and for the rib part I'm going to use polyfloss small in cream color by Tickstream and I'm just using one strand of it so just take one strand of it take it secure it and then in touching turns just try to form the body and uh, make it smooth because the smoother, smoother the body the uh, better your fly is going to look when you varnish it uh, the reason why I'm using this cheap super glue is because obviously it's cheap but uh, more important reason is that it's really durable and it's super easy to use it's even easier than UV the only downside is that it has like it takes a little bit more time to cure than UV resin but it's like less than you think actually I, so it's maybe one and a half minutes so by the time you finish one body like this the other one that you tried, tied previously is going to be dry so I don't think it's mm, big deal just like that time is not a big deal if you ask me so after a couple of layers you when you put the foundation on, on your hook uh, there are two options uh, sorry I need to rip my fly first so twist this ro this uh, polyfloss twist it make a rope and then just shape just rib it along the body of your fly Try to use even turns, and even turns are easier, easiest to achieve by positioning your thread by a certain angle, and that angle is going to give you nice even ribs, which are actually, which is not the case right now, but well, it's not a big deal. Like fish won't mind. Okay, two turns to secure everything down, and. And I'm gonna whip finish the fly. So, cut everything here now because I'm using body quill, not a thread. I'm going to use like two turn whip finish knot to secure everything. Otherwise, it's going to be very tricky to tighten the knot. As you can see, everything looks nice, relatively decent. One rib run away, but it's okay. <coughs> now, as I mentioned, it's 502. Be careful, test it prior to tying more flies because some of these 502 glues are going to get white in water and some are not going to get white. So I'm just gonna put a drop of it on my fly and distribute it with this bottle and that's it. Like This is how much time it takes to cure your fly and now I will show you what I do. So I'm using anything to attach my, my flies on that. So I do this, like literally. 
I stab the fly, this is balls I would, and I take previously tired fly like so, and I just finish it off. That's it. Now, for the main thread, I'm going to use a black one, and because this is all bent a little bit, as you can see, I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Let me just check. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to lift it up, make a foundation. As you can see, it's very hard. It's not gonna be destroyed by by any fish's teeth. Even I use it for perting on nymphs and some other nymphs that are like bouncing along the bottom. It's super super heavy duty thing. Now we have many options. We have. Uh, we can put a rabbit snowshoe in here, we can put some CDC, we can make a CDC loop. And in this case I'm gonna actually make just that, a CDC loop thing. So I'm gonna align two CDC tips, like so. And so I'm catching them by the butt ends, two in front and then a couple of them like here and then two along it and just yep that's it now cut these butt ends by an angle like so so when you just go over with your thread you're going to catch all of them again and here I'm going to put some dubbing and for dubbing I'm not gonna tell you what I'm going to use because I use it use it all the time, so sorry. <laughs> Just a couple of pinches. You don't need much. Just a touch of dubbing. So when you finish with your dubbing here, make nice thorax. And as you can see I left quite a bit of space for the head. And if you followed one of my previous videos, I try to break with my needle, I try to break the CDC and after you break it, you can catch it like so. Check if everything is right. And you have two options, either to cut those wings or to fold them back. If you want to fold them back, what it's good to do is like it's good to do is just go over like a little bit into the hook eye and then go back with your thread so create a flat surface over here where my tip of my scissors is so create a flat surface and then when you do this immediately you're going to catch all of those fibers now you're going to create a nice little head here which uh, can be too bumpy, bumpy for some people if you want to avoid it just use as thin thread as possible because I don't want to create too big of a bump I'm going to use super glue to varnish this head usually I don't varnish those heads as you know but in this case I'm going to do it because I don't want to do I don't want to put like two web finish knots and I'm going to use the same super glue for this I'm just gonna touch my needle with the super glue. Sorry, it's probably out of focus. So, so I'm just gonna touch needle with super glue and I'm just gonna touch the thread. And as you can see, it's becoming a bit shiny over there. And that's it. I mean, you don't need to cover the whole thread. If you want, you can. But it's not that necessary. It's very. It, it can be quite difficult to pinch and take uh, enough super glue with uh, just a dubbing needle. So guys this is finished fly. Uh, it represents some kind of a mayfly emerger like red spinner. Well not spinner but its cousin in, in early stage. Uh, the point of this hook is very obvious if you ask me. Um, I will show it to you right now. So more or less this should ride like so in water 
so a lot of the body will be submerged like cling hammer style it's just that it gets delicate presentation of these CDC wings and uh, CDC loop it's going to be almost unsinkable with this style of wings now let me discuss some other options as well <coughs> let's try to tie something very similar but easier to this so as you can see I already positioned this part to be almost flat and again I'm going to use the same thread to finish off everything and I'm going to uh, uh, put a layer of thread here because hook is slippery thread is not so when you position material on the hook it's going to be less likely to slip out if you're using thread layer. Again I'm going to align two CDC tips and I'm gonna align them like so so they have to extend the hook because this is not the length the length is like so and down so when you straighten up everything this is the length of your caddis in this case so the caddis they have a little bit longer wings and in this case I put a longer wing just because of that obviously so position this and now it's easy to divide wings from the body you don't need any kind of magic uh, touches uh, like spinning the thread behind the feathers or so like it's much easier to achieve that uh, dived body into in the water with this technique now again I'm going to cut this by an angle like so and I'm going to secure it a little bit more and I'm going back with my thread because now I'm going to attach some <coughs> other dubbing or the same I'm not sure well I have a lot of dubbings to choose so let's do the same one because I need to make some of it and I just want to spend it and fish they seem to like this particular natural color with some flesh in it so I'm using just basic dubbing technique around the thread like I'm not spinning in the loop or so so now you can like if you don't like position of your wings you can go with your thread behind but I like it but I just want to cover this thinner part of it of body just want to cover it with uh, some dubbing and now with nice tight wraps I'm going to create nicely formed thorax here okay now with your left hand or non-dominant hand hold all those materials back and form nice little head here using two wet finish knots and now I'm not going to use super glue because there is no need for that and let's see what we got we got egg laying caddis as you can obviously see uh, the wing wings are going to hold our fly with body submerged uh, the, actually the physics of the body are also like that there are no hairs sticking out and uh, preventing our the, the fly's body to sink under the surface so like smooth body is like uh, more likely to go under the surface than like a scruffy body made out of some fur so if you touch it with uh, for example some floatant it's going to float on the surface sometimes and not under the surface like this one is like 100% going to go under the water with wings laying flat on the water the final touch of this would be just to brush out some of those legs to make it look more, let's say, natural. Just a few legs sticking out of our fly. And that's it, like egg laying caddis ready to go fishing. And you know, like when egg caddis are hatching and laying eggs, 
they actually submerge their bodies and they hit the water surface to lay those eggs down. So what else can we do with these things? I made a couple of more, more bodies here. So I made something flashy. Now this one, sorry, this one is quite obvious, like body quill, body quill, varnish with super glue. This one may not be so obvious. So for this one I used green body quill, this one. But under this body quill I used, just let me find it, give me a second. <coughs> I used purple UV tinsel. So it was UV tinsel and then just one layer of body quill for the top. Now let me, fin let me finish this one. And for this one I I think because it's a caddis and it can be a mayfly but it's more likely a caddis because of this shiny thing. I'll just go with a simple bubble and it it's like first fly that, that I tied in this video. It's, I know it's a bit longer one but I think there are a few interesting things here. So I hope you like this video. If you like it please comment down below. So two CDC tips, rather small and just catch them here two tight wraps, three, okay one, two the two that go on the on the bare hook is like just for security reasons and now as I said just cover everything with your thread here it's going to be like very very well secured as you can see now you can do something like you can put some CDC dubbing or whatever you like but I'm to I'm going to put some dark green dubbing here just let me find it so it's a squirrel mix David Wat Watton's squirrel mix so just like this you don't need much just a touch and same as before just make this thorax rather nice and leave enough room for the head here now if you don't have dubbing needle you can use web finishing tool to position everything here and now I'm going to put and create a larger loop and smaller smaller tip side as you can see now as on the previous fly I'm going to use the same thing here just to position this everything in time before I finish the fly just work with it you can leave this thing like so it's it also can be good you can also cut it or you can just fold it back and I'm going to do that because it's a little bit shorter it's not that easy to fold it back but it's okay now when everything is done position everything as you like it before we finish knot so one two three done and one two three that's it finished fly okay final touch would be to brush out thorax nice touch would be to, to add some CDC dubbing into this dubbing and create a mixture of CDC and scroll and this is it like nice buggy looking emerger pupa caddis pattern with some shiny effect in the body that will attract fish you can use it on sunny day that would be a tip for you because on sunny days fish seem to prefer some shiny things and on the uh, overcast days or cloudy rainy days whatever just try something dull with dull and dark colors like copper black or whatever you like and finally 
I'm going to try something like super simple that's extremely good for fish in uh, some nice uh, calm glass like waters uh, sort of shuttlecock emerger so again cover the beer part of the hook with your thread make a nice foundation for it for your fly okay so I found some CDC feathers that are like not super good quality as you can see I'm running out I'm running out of CDC feathers so I'm just gonna use what I have so I'm lining the tips and positioning this like so and now let me show you something here because I'm going to fold this back towards front part like so I want to see if those wings are too long right now and I think they are so I'm just gonna go back pull this and see if I like it this way so let's see maybe I made it too short and final touch this is it go with your thread over the CDC cut it by an angle as we said go back and create nice nice little thorax because this is for flat surfaces you can use like thinner dubbing noodle with less spiky fibers in it so just cover the thread you want like delicate fly okay so I'm going to cover this okay now I have enough room for the head and securing the wings I'm going to make a wing case with CDC as you can see and it looks quite cool and we're finishing the fly should be and should be the last step of this fly I'm not going to brush out the legs as you can see this is fly that is designed to be fished in um, those calmer parts of rivers so you don't need too much of the CDC for something fast for some faster waters yes you would need some but let's see how it should sit in the water like so with like almost everything submerged just to those wings sticking out so like around my nail or let me show it like more precisely like it should be submerged until here or here depending on the like your cast if you cast like too hard on water it can just sink a little bit deeper but you should be always be able to to see those wing tips and it's nice contrasting thing you can see just a few legs a few trouts are going to make a few more with their teeth but this body is never gonna be destroyed so guys thank you very much for watching if you managed to watch the whole video congratulations uh, thank you again for that I hope you liked it. Anything that you can comment, suggest, I'll be very happy and glad to hear. And see you next time.